What's up all you tasty tarts out there? Ash here with The Binge. Today I'm coming at you with another fragrance review and this is one that everybody and their mother is reviewing right now. It's not intentional. I had actually planned on doing this before, but whatever. I'll just throw this review in with all the other ones out there now. You already know what it is because you read the title. It's Bleecker Street by Bond Number no. 9. This has been one of my absolute favorite spring fragrances for years. I put it on top 10 lists. I think every single year that I've had a top 10 list for spring now, and now I'm gonna finally review it. And stay tuned because there's gonna be a giveaway as well. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out this presentation. When you buy a Bond number no. nine, it has this plastic covering over it. I've already taken that off, so get that out of here. This is how the boxes are going to look. You can see here on the front of the box, you have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration here in the middle. It opens up like so. Your bottle sits right inside here, and there's a postcard right here that you can fill out and send it to Bond number no. nine, and they will occasionally send you things in the mail. I've heard from some people that they get free samples every once in a while from Bond. I've never gotten one. Also comes with this map of New York City, which actually just points out different locations in New York and then the Bond number no. 9 fragrances that are associated with that area. It's basically just an advertisement, but it's a cool one. Then we have the bottle. You've got the Bond number no. 9 star shape. The colors here really pop. Reminds me of spring. I really like the green mixing with the purple. The caps do click into place, uh, but not super snug. As you can see, you can turn it pretty easily. And when you pick it up, there is a little bit of give in the cap, if you can see that. Atomizers on Bond number no. 9s are so-so. I have had a couple of them have the, uh, the collar right here kind of pop up and get stuck inside the cap. So that can be an issue with Bond number no. 9s. Uh, in general, the bottle looks nice, but then the cap and sometimes the atomizer can be a little bit flimsy. There you have it, the presentation for Bond number no. 9, Bleecker Street. So this video is sponsored by Max Aroma, and I wanted to do a giveaway that involved them, but a little bit different than what I've done in the past. So Max Aroma has these little pocket perfumes on sale on their website for most of the fragrances that they carry. It's actually a decent way for you to sample something if you're unsure of whether you really wanna buy a full bottle or not. And it's also a good way to get basically a travel spray if you have a fragrance that you really like, but you don't wanna take the bottle, you don't wanna decant it yourself. So yeah, these are little lipstick atomizers. I'm sure most of you out there are familiar with these at this point. It's a metal case, you twist it like this, the little uh, decant pops up, you press down to spray it, twist it, it goes back down. So I'm gonna be giving away a few of these here to one of you out there. I have Club de Nuit Urban Man by Armoff, Penhaligon's Endymion, and then this is Rosasi in Tiba. So those are eight mils each, 24 mils overall, they're unused. If you wanna be entered in the giveaway, just go ahead and leave a comment below saying that you want to be entered. And one of you out there will get three of these lipstick atomizers with the fragrance inside. And that is pretty cool that they come like this because they're not gonna get broken that way. A week from when this video goes live, I'll do a random comment picker and I will pin the name of the winner at the top of the comments on this video. So you can come back and check one week from when this goes live and the winner will be up there. If you're the winner, just reach out to me, shoot me an email or a message on YouTube, and I will get you your prize. Ah, oh, Bleecker Street, one of my favorites. And this one is a little bit divisive. You'll see some people online say that it's overrated, that they don't like it, that it's uh, synthetic or sharp, whatever. As I've said in the past, I'm not going to argue with you over Bond number no. 9 fragrances coming across as synthetic or potentially sharp in the opening because lots and lots of them do. But even if the fragrance house has lots of misses over the years, Bleecker Street, to me, is a home run. It opens very, very green and grassy. Actually, if I spray it onto my shirt, it comes across even more grassy. It's like it's been amplified than if I spray it on my skin. If I spray it on my skin, it's a little bit more subdued, but when I spray it directly to my shirt, it smells honestly like a freshly mown lawn on a hot spring day. It is very, very green. And the opening for this can turn some people off because it can come across a little bit strong. So some people don't like that. Personally, I love it. I like it being strong. That grassy kind of accord mixes with fruitiness from blueberry and cassis, but it's not truly a fruity or sweet fragrance at any point in this sense lifetime from the open to the dry down. You do get wafts of fruitiness or sweetness, but that's not the driving aspect of this fragrance. There's also violet leaf apparent in the composition here, but the violet leaf doesn't come across like petrol or gasoline, uh, like in Dior Fahrenheit, for example. It comes across green and fresh rather than dark and dank. And that's really the story of the opening here. It's green, it's fresh, it's a little bit watery, but not actually aquatic. There's also a slight earthy undertone that comes out about 10 minutes in. 
It almost smells like you take a damp piece of earth that's at the same time very clean and put that underneath the grassy notes. So while being earthy, it's not at all dirty. Through the mid, thyme gives it a little bit of an herbal quality as the blueberry and violet carry it through to the dry down. As Bleecker Street dries down, you pick up wafts from the blueberry here and there. It kind of peeks in and out. The dry down is pleasant and dry. It has a warm woody note that mixes with oak moss and suede. That thyme still makes it retain a little bit of an herbal undercurrent. You also have a touch of spice from cinnamon and added sweetness not from the fruity side, but from vanilla and amber. So there's a lot going on there note-wise, but it's blended well enough that nothing really sticks out like a sore thumb. It all just works together well. As I've said, that huge blast of green freshness off the top really just reminds me of spring. It's one of my absolute favorite springtime fragrances and I wear it well through summer. For me, it smells fantastic. I would put this as a 10 out of 10. It would easily make my 10 fragrances that I would keep if I had to get rid of everything else list, which I haven't made yet, but it would still make that list. And I know that there are similarities between this and Ralph Lauren Purple Label, and I do own Purple Label just for the record. Uh, definitely there are similarities there. Purple Label never really gets discounted though, so the price difference isn't that huge between the two, assuming that you buy Bleecker Street at a discounter and not at full retail. And I get better performance from Bleecker Street, so between the two, I would take Bleecker Street Street over Purple Label, though I do really like Purple Label. I've also seen Bleecker Street get compared to Paco Rabanne Ultraviolet. I do own Ultraviolet as well, but I don't see as much of a similarity there. Performance for me is quite good for Bleecker Street. I get six to eight hours typically of longevity. Could go a little bit heavier to get more if I really wanted to. Projection is in the moderate range, but leaning a little bit toward the heavier side than the weaker side. So a little bit above average, I would say, in terms of projection. Spray-wise, I typically go with four sprays here, one in the crook of each elbow, one behind each ear, or I can go with the couple to the top of the chest if I don't want to do the ears. Like I said earlier, spring and summer is the best time to wear this. It does lean a little bit more casual than it does formal and it is a kind of youthful smelling scent though I think anybody could wear it. My wife loves Bleecker Street. She's complimented me numerous times while wearing this and I've gotten unsolicited compliments from other people as well. So if you're after compliments, Bleecker Street can pull those also. There we have it. Bleecker Street, my absolute favorite Bond number no. 9 fragrance. And in my opinion, if I were making like a niche starter kit, you know, like 10 niche fragrances that you should smell if you start to get into niche fragrances, this would make that list as well. If you have smelled Bleecker Street, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Also, let me know if you want to be entered in that giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.